Hi, I'm Ashley Steinbach, a product manager here at InSitu. Today I want to talk about proper techniques for calibrating an RDO sensor on the Aquatrol 600. Prior to beginning the calibration, there's a few pieces of equipment that you'll want to make sure to have. You'll need a bubbler, deionized water, a bucket, and some paper towels. The instrument allows for a one or a two point calibration on the RDO sensor. Your one point is typically done in a 100% saturated environment and your zero point in sodium sulfite or bubbled nitrogen. For your 100% saturation calibration point, there are two different methods that you can use. You can either use air saturated water or water saturated air. To perform a water saturated air cal, you'll want to leave the instrument in storage mode, remove the end cap, Put in a small sponge to the top and saturate with a little bit of water. You want to be careful not to get any of the water on the surface of the thermistor or the RDO sensor. You want to reinstall until you're about one turn away from fully closed. This allows there to vent to the atmosphere so that you don't over pressurize your chamber. In this mode, I would leave for five to 10 minutes so that the air inside of the chamber is able to fully saturate. If you prefer an air saturated water calibration instead, you will remove the end cap of the instrument and change the restrictor so it's in deployment mode. Once it's in this mode, you will use your saturated bubbler and it's important to make sure that this bubbles for five to 10 minutes before you begin your calibration. So you will insert the instrument with the restrictor on into the calibration chamber, making sure that the sensor itself is fully submerged under the water. Once you have the sensor set up, you will go into the app, connect the instrument from the connected instrument screen you will click on calibrations, RDO saturation, and from here you can pick a one point or a two point calibration. For non-vented instruments, it's important that you get a updated barometric pressure reading. So in order to do that, you will unscrew the back end of your instrument, and this allows the instrument to update the internal barometric pressure sensor. Once complete, you will close that back down and then continue on in your calibration. Once you click next, the calibration will start and the app will guide you through the calibration. Once you have three full green check marks, the calibration is stable and you are free to click accept. From there, you'll get a summary of the calibration values. Click done, and you're able to view the full calibration report. Thank you so much for your time today. If you do have additional questions, please visit our website at www.institute.com.